Greetings to another episode of Hark the Lark. When a war comes to an end, the guys, the countries rather, that win the war like to have a time to sit down and talk about what to do about the defeated country. That's very typical. Lots of famous uh, peace conferences in the history of the world. Um, but what's ironic about the one I want to talk about today that took place at Potsdam in Germany, which is Potsdam is a little suburb of Berlin, and it happened to be the locale of a peace war conference between the big three, Great Britain, Churchill, the United States, FDR had just died, and so that would be Truman, and the Soviet Union, Russia, which was led by Stalin. These three men, the big three, were going to meet to discuss what to do with the defeated Germany, who lost in May of 1945, and what to do about Japan, since they had not surrendered yet as of July of 1945. Now, here's what the whole video is about, really. It's to paint the picture of how crazy wartime cooperation can be. The big three are there. Churchill's there, Truman's there, Stalin's there, and they are going to meet in a kind of an oval building and the question is asked, who, which delegation should come in first, second, and which delegation last? And so Britain raised their hand and said, hey, it should be me. I was in the war the longest. I came in in September of 1939, and I've been fighting the Germans the longest. The Russians said, it should be me because we've made the greatest sacrifice because in the war between Germany and Russia, the Soviet Union, in, from 1941 to 1945, the Russians lost 20 million uh, dead in that war. And then the United States chimed in and said it should really be me because regarding supplies and money, I've done the lion's share of getting supplies to everybody and paying for things. So what did they agree to? Did they get a coin out? Did they just... Uh, take their pride and put it underneath and say, hey, let's just walk in whatever order we want. Nope, it's too important. For history books, they didn't want to be second or third. So what they did was they postponed the beginning of the conference for a bit and built two more doors. So there could be three doors entering the building so all three delegations could come in at the same time. If that doesn't furrow your brow, nothing furrows your brow. Um, the Cold War was like... <laughs> There was the seed right there already that the United States and the Soviet Union was not going to cooperate. And, and ironically, in that conference, in the middle of that conference, the British had an election uh, and voted to not keep Churchill. So a new guy came at the very end of the conference to say, hey, well, this is what we're going to do. And he was a very newbie, right? He'd just come in a, month, you know, a week before he arrived in Potsdam. His name was Adley. And just so I've said this, in July of 1945, we had our first successful test of the atom bomb. And in August of 1945, because of that conference, we not only talked Russia into joining and entering the war on our team against Japan, which certainly broke the Japanese back, but we had atom bombs of which we dropped, of course, on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I did a whole video on that and, and its consequences, which are very significant that week or so in uh, August of 1945. So please look at that link. And otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed this video, learned something, and please share that with friends and family.